What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today with another video of Paladins again with some new pictures being teased by Paladins on their Twitter. I don't want to make this video too long so literally this is not even gonna have gameplay. I just want you guys to focus on the image you're seeing right now on screen and yes this is the new picture that has been teased by Paladins uh, Twitter. And I've, you know, I've heard some people's theories about this. I mentioned this during my Ram Real stream today, and some people gave me, you know, little theories and so on. But I got into a conclusion that most of the things that I've been saying so far on the other videos, if you guys haven't checked them out, make sure to go back into my channel and check them out because there's a lot of theories, a lot of thinking about all these pictures. The thing that I, you know, the things that I've been saying so far, they actually match up. I, I think. You guys are probably gonna be thinking this is insane, but the more that the, they put pictures of these, you know, these teases, this whatever they want to call them on the Twitter, the more I am, you know, certain that what I'm saying is actually true. And there's a reason. As you can see, this is a hand of a lady. At least it looks like a hand of a lady. It's a little smaller. It's not a, it's not a thicker finger, etc. It really, literally looks like a hand of a girl. And in this hand, you can see that there is a, a necklace, the necklace that we've seen in the first picture that was teased to us, which I did mention that supposedly it opens with pictures inside, probably two pictures, and that it is what it was riding on the wood, Abby and Sarah. Now, here's the stuff. I'm looking at these two girls on the pictures and I think that the the girl on the right side the not, not the one that it's blonde the one with the like brown hair I'm not entirely sure if, that, if that's brown hair I think that is Ceres that is literally just I mean just take away the hair and cover her eyes that's her that is Ceres okay not not the other girl the other girl looks weird she, she probably her sister for what I can see like like the you know the eyes and so on. They really look like sisters. I want to. I want to believe that they are sisters. And the one on the left could either be the person who is holding the necklace right now, or it could be the mother of these two girls. But which I don't believe. I, I really believe that this is her sister somehow. I mean, Leon and Khan are really, really close. To, you know, they're not family, but they're really. Uh, close together in certain parts of the story. They didn't just complicate it. Just made it like really simple It's their her commander like it's somebody who has a crush on her. That's it. And as now we're reading we're looking at this and um, I mean I even had people saying that the, this hand was the hand of Maeve and here's the reason why it's not the hand of Maeve The hand of Maeve her right arm has a sleeve and has nothing to do with that bracelet that she's holding and on the left hand, the glove actually does like a cone up till the wrist. So that's literally not Nate. Okay, that is somebody else. She has almost like a little, a little nothing, but a big bracelet. And the more I think about this, like it does, it's not think magical. She's probably just a normal human being with magical powers, like a mage, a wizard, something, right? But then you look around, and those glowing little things, those are feathers. Remember me mentioning the phoenix before? Well, this even brings it up more. This or is actually an angel, which I also mentioned. It could be an angel, probably a fire since we already heard the eternal pyre situation. And if you can look even on the background, if you take a little attention to the background, that looks like the purple of the orb that we saw in the last, on the last uh, picture where it was destroying the city. Right? And also you can see here on her hand in certain parts, it's like it is literally glowing. You see the light, the purple light hitting her hand. So she's literally near something, an energy force of like the orbs of Ceres, okay? And here's the thing, why I'm mentioning the girl that is on the right side is probably Ceres. I have been thinking about it and I keep thinking, I keep saying it has to be, okay? I believe that the Oracle, the Ceres, is not really the body that we see. Whatever it is, it is on the weapon. It is inside of the orb in the weapon. And I believe that the body that we see, she doesn't even use her eyes. I think that is actually just a vessel. Just to allow her to move through the world, okay? I believe that somehow they managed to contain the power inside of an orb, which is the weapon of Ceres, and 
perhaps the second sister, maybe they were hunters together on a quest or something or protecting the city of Ceres. Maybe she touched it or she was possessed and now she is, you know, she's the, the, the vessel of, of the oracle of the, the abyss. This is what I'm thinking. And the more the pictures that come out and, and show us about this, the more I'm believing that it is. And not just to mention that I do believe that these two are sisters since it does say in the sentence next uh, the most treasured heirlooms are memories of her family that is saying that those are memories right that was long ago that was not right now okay that is a memory whoever is holding it it's a memory but it could either be because they were together the sisters are together or it's because it's her daughter okay that's what I'm keep saying like it's either daughters or a or sisters, I really don't, goddamn no. And I'm I'm getting annoyed with this because the more they show us, it could literally be both. Okay, they could literally be just joking with us. And the last second it could be either one of them. Of course, probably they already have everything set and ready to go, so whatever it is, they already know what it is and we don't. But you know, th that's that's what I think. And if you also look into the background of the pictures, the one on the right side has the blue a background, the one on the left has the purple background. And as such, people are saying that the one on the left is supposed to be Sarah since it's related to purple. I think that's actually just a background, that's literally nothing, okay? I, I see that all of these pictures, they have teasing us, you know, they've been teasing us for, for a few days now. Every single day they're posting a picture just to tease us a little bit more, letting us think who is Furia? How is she? What does she look like? How is she related to Ceres and so on? And how does all of this is related to Ceres? And man, uh, it's I don't I don't think Harris would go to the point of putting that small little detail in there. Okay, I don't think they they would go like that. Just a little thing before I go, uh, before I finish the video and wrap it up. I said something yesterday that I believe that I said it wrong. I said that the blue item that you, the blue, the, not, the, not the blue item, the, the purple bur orb near the church was not the ultimate, it was not the orb that we see on the weapon of Ceres, but it was just a normal orb from her attacks. Here's the thing, that little orb that we know, she takes, she draws power from within, right? She draws power from that to use it wherever she needs. Okay, to attack, it usually should be also for healing, but that's that's not there and we're glad we don't have to reload the healing. But the orb that she brings in her weapon may be the source of her power. May actually be even the Ceres itself, as I said, and the body's just a vessel. So that little, that not little, big orb that we see on the map may actually even be what's inside of that, or that, that weapon. Okay, maybe they contained it inside of a, a metal orb. And now it's there, and only somebody who touched it and became the vessel can use the powers from it. Pretty much it. The, 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 the weapon itself, when you use it as an ultimate, pulls things through it like a black hole, which leads me to think it is related, okay? Yesterday I was saying that it was not, it was just a normal attack, it's not the ultimate, but the more I look into it, it, must, it almost looks like it, okay? But even so, guys, that's all for the video today. I'm sorry for no gameplay, but... I've I just been putting the same gameplay over and over on all of the images and they've been posted the same, like, every day a picture, different picture. Either I just wait like two or three days and do a video about it, or I just do a video every single day about it, like a fast, quick video. And I'm ready to do it like this, okay, we'll just analyze things all together, piece by piece, information, talk a little bit about it, instead of actually putting gameplay so you guys do lose focus and just go focus on on the the gameplay, which I literally saw somebody tell me on, I believe it was the second video when I was playing with Talas, and people were like, oh, I, I was fo so focused on the gameplay that I had to re-watch the video. I mean, for me that's good, I get more views, but uh, at the same time, I want to try to leave the information that I'm trying to bring you guys in this video, like at the first try, right there in your brains, then force you to look there and even so like watching the second time may even be distracted at something in the gameplay okay so that's all for the video today guys i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if this uh new information is 
you know, if my video actually brought you this new information in a way that you liked it. I actually had people coming up to me today, actually today, uh, saying that they saw my video and they enjoyed it. They, they liked the information and they appreciated it a lot. And uh, just let me know if you like it as well, okay? The, the likes and dislikes are there for me to know if I'm doing a good job or not. So just go there, press the like button or the dislike button, depending if, if you enjoyed the video or not. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of this. And I also do other contents. For those who don't know, I do tutorials, gameplays, streams, and so on. I do streams with my subs. I do a lot of things, okay? So you guys join a channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and you just get into a great community that it is in this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, and that is all for today, guys. Bye-bye!